On the 13th of May, 1884, which happens to be uh, just uh, 49 years ago this week, I was a student at the Ohio State University. Uh, Professor Mendenhall, a notable teacher, was a professor of physics. In electricity, he had the faculty of uh, making uh, uh, quite clear and understandable those fundamental relations of voltage and current, of inductance and capacity, uh, and the like, and the uh, uh, CGS uh, system of units. After graduating and taking my AB degree a year later, I remained for a time studying analytic mechanics and working in the electrical laboratory. And then I went to uh, Johns Hopkins for a year and a half. A little later, the uh, threatened receivership led to the dissolution of the school. And I uh, looked for a job. <clears throat> I visited my old friend Henry Humphrey at the uh, uh, Hoosick Tunnel, where he was trying to make 16 candle power incandescent lamps uh, uh, overcome the uh, smoke of the locomotives. At the end of the tunnel, he showed me a, a little uh, shack with engine and dynamo, which he said was the Westinghouse system of alternating current. That was a new idea to me. Uh, he explained the converter. Uh, we now call them transformers. Uh, and I said, why, yes, that's a, uh, that's a room corp coiled backwards, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, with a letter of introduction which he gave me, I uh, met a contractor in Philadelphia who was wiring the Baldwin Locomotive Works. After an hour's argument, he tried to say goodbye pleasantly by suggesting that I work a week for nothing, and they would charge me nothing for the experience. But after a week of ten hours a day, I did get a job. At ten dollars and a half a week, uh, was helper and wireman, draftsman and foreman, and uh, uh, ran the dynamos on one of the uh, night uh, ferry boats over to Camden. Then the job shifted to Plainfield, and after a little while it disappeared. And I had uh, uh, six months rich experience, and the last month's pay still coming to me. <clears throat> well, uh, during the evenings, uh, uh, I found uh, 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 William Stanley's paper on alternating current, an AIE paper, uh, a regular gold mine of information. I visited Pittsburgh. I got lots of inspiration from a meeting of the National Electric Light Association, uh, but could get no job at uh, Westinghouse. So I went on home in Ohio, <coughs> uh, conducted a, a correspondence, which I followed up by a visit to Pittsburgh. And uh, then on the 13th of, uh, uh, of August, 1888, at 6 o'clock in the evening, I began as assistant in the testing room. It was before the days of self-oiling bearings, and we had to uh, pour oil in the bearings every little while, and wipe the shafting, and uh, keep the voltage constant, and read the thermometers, <coughs> and sweep out the rough wooden floor, all for 11 cents an hour. Uh, presently, I was transferred to the laboratory, uh, where Schallenberger had just invented his meter, Stillwell his regulator, and uh, Tesla was experimenting with uh, induction motors. Uh, those were the days of cut and try methods. And many of the technical mysteries which baffled us are now uh, taught to uh, college students. <clears throat>